Lily and the Snowman. Once upon a time, in a cosy little village nestled among the snowy mountains, the first flakes of winter began to fall from the sky. Each flake was delicate and unique, like tiny stars floating gently down to earth. The children of the village watched in wonder from their windows as the world outside transformed into a magical snowy wonderland. Among these children was a little girl named Lily, who loved snow more than anything. She had been waiting all year for the chance to build snowmen, have snowball fights, and make snow angels. As soon as the snow was deep enough, Lily put on her warmest coat, her coziest hat, and her brightest mittens, and ran outside to play. The village was silent, covered in a thick blanket of snow that muffled every sound. Lily's boots crunched softly as she walked, leaving a trail of footprints behind her. She breathed in the crisp, cold air, feeling little icicles form in her nose. Everything was so peaceful and perfect. Lily started by rolling a small snowball with her hands. She rolled it around the yard, watching it grow bigger and bigger until it was as tall as she was. She made two more snowballs, each one smaller than the last, and stacked them on top of each other to make a snowman. She found stones for his eyes and mouth, a carrot for his nose, and sticks for his arms. She wrapped a scarf around his neck and placed a hat on his head. Lily stepped back to admire her work, feeling proud and happy. Just then, her friends Tom and Sarah came over, their cheeks red from the cold. They were amazed by Lily's snowman, and asked if they could build one too. Together, the three friends built an entire family of snowmen, each with its own personality and style. They worked until their fingers were numb and their noses were frozen, but they didn't mind. They were having too much fun. As the sun began to set, painting the sky in shades of pink and orange, Lily and her friends decided to end their day with a snowball fight. They divided into teams and built forts out of snow to hide behind. The air was filled with laughter and the sound of snowballs whizzing through the air. As darkness fell and the stars began to twinkle in the night sky, the children knew it was time to go inside. They said goodbye to their snowman family and promised to return the next day. Lily looked back at the snowy village, feeling grateful for such a wonderful day. That night, as she lay in bed, Lily thought about the snow and all the fun she had. She realized that the best thing about snow wasn't just the snowmen or the snowball fights, but the joy of sharing those moments with friends. And with that warm thought, Lily drifted off to sleep, dreaming of more snowy adventures to come. Hey everyone, enjoying the videos? Don't forget to subscribe and join our awesome community. Your support keeps the adventures coming. Thanks for being part of our journey.